morning. I've just got in the car and I'm going to go and take you around Antigua and Barbuda and show you the things that you can do here. And to start with, well, it's help if I get the key in the car, but to start with, we are going to head towards the east coast and go and have a look at Betty's Hope, Devil's Bridge and Half Moon Bay. So let's get going. Now it's done. Good start. So while we're driving around, it's probably it's a good opportunity to give you an idea of what the roads are like. So I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a good view. We're actually in a place called Piccadilly. This house that we're coming up to, this big house, has got the car with the doors open. Oh, my brother's in love with this house. I think if you won the lottery, you'd buy it. So this road's not too bad to drive. In 300 meters, turn left onto the Hollywood. So, admission to US for 5 EC. You just put it in the honesty box and sign the book if you want. And this is the museum, and it's very good in here. 
So it's absolutely worth coming here first. So then it's worth coming in the museum. They've got this replica model of what it was like. And then they label everything. So we're here. You see my finger? We're here in the stables. And then you've got the manager's house, the slaves' village, cattle pen, boiling house, the factory complex, distillery, curing house, and then obviously the mills. So this was the site where the slaves were housed. They've done like a replica of what the housing would have looked like. It doesn't look very warm, does it? I just suppose it's warm and antique. But at nights it can get cold. Hmm. No, I don't think I would have liked it. So originally, the sugar was moved with mules and oxen, and then trains were introduced. It's an old train thing. What have we got over here? So this is the old distillery house. It's remarkable, isn't it? Let's look how, how big it is. down this little pathway they've kind of built here you get a better look at it it's huge I can't believe how well it's kind of held up yeah okay it doesn't have a roof anymore and the windows have gone but it's, no, it's still held up quite well so apparently all of the sugar cane plantations produced rum and it says here the early rum was very potent and not as clean. Mind you, I've had the, the rum here in Antigua and I can tell you it's still potent. Right, let's move on to the mills now. So these were the two mills and you can see one of them is how it was left and the other they've restored and it's just wonderful. I love it here. I love everything that's to do with history and I do love the history of Antigua and Barbuda but you know I do in a lot of these places because I still find the history of slavery really depressing. There's a bench here you can sit on, but I don't think I would. My way might collapse. It's, it's beautiful. Let's have a little look inside as well because I think they've like restored the inside. Well, I know they've restored the inside. So you can kind of see the workings of it. inside. Marvellous. Okay, that's Betty's Hope done. Always worth a visit. It is one of my favourite places here. So I do recommend it. And make sure you go to the museum and read all about the history. Okay, let's move on to our next if you don't want to 
there we go, one and a half kilometres of this. So it's going to take a while to get down this road. when I go to the edge so I might have to shout a bit but it's got some information signs and then more about the sea salt and the myths so if I call for the devil in a loud voice a big wave will come I didn't bring a raw egg. And Slade's committed suicide by jumping off the bridge. And then a bit about vegetation. We've got some shops over there. The tourists, and you've got those photo things. Let's go down and have a look at the Devil's Bridge. There, look at the w waves crash. Ooh, Let's see if I can get a better view. I always forget how I get down here. Okay, I've got down here because this very nice gentleman gave me a hand down the big rocks. But here we go. Try not to slip over. Here's the actual bridge. Oh, isn't it marvelous? So what did he say? Shout devil. Ready? Devil! Yeah. That's not shouting loud enough. just sit here for half a day sit on the rocks and just watch it it's so calming just the sounds the wind the waves so I do recommend this place walk across that bridge but many people fall off as well and uh, you don't want to fall in that Whoa. 
Oh, did you hear that? They do have gazers and blowholes here, but I've never seen one at this end, but I'll take you up the other end where I do see them. I can hear it, but I can't see it, and I'm not going near the edge. Oh, I don't know if you can see, it's blowing out of the rock in the side. Of course, it doesn't do it now, does it? Oh, there you go, yes! Did you see? Oh! blowholes on the ridge there but I don't think we're going to see them today because of the way the waves are coming in it's usually when they're crashing right at the back and you get some spectacular blowholes but no I don't think we'll see them oh look at that can you see why I spend so long just watching this in there would you and do you know what I also like about here every time I come it's different like I've not seen it like this before just the way that the waves are crashing against the rocks it's oh, it just means it's like it's a place you can come so many times and just enjoy a different scenery and don't just go and see the bridge, do come to this end. Okay, let's uh... I don't want to go but we need to, we won't get everything done. So let's go to our next destination. So we're leaving 
Devil's Bridge soaking wet and uh, driving very slowly out down this 1.5 kilometer road. Um, now one place I won't have time to go to today but it's definitely worth a visit for half a day, a full day because there's quite a lot to do is St John's. St John's is the capital of Antigua and Barbuda and it's a, it's a lovely town we wouldn't class it as a city in the UK, so I'll say town, but um, it is their main town. You can go there and it's got, I mean, it's fascinating. You can go around the fish market, the meat market, they've got vegetable markets, craft markets, but then they've got the regular shops and there's a couple that are touristy, but you know, otherwise it's, it's they're very local and they're just great to have a look around and so it's definitely worth going there. Also, while you're there, go to the Museum of Antigua and Barbuda. They've got some great ex exhibitions there. Um, and they've got like, all about the history of how Antigua and Barbuda came to be. Um, another great section on slavery, which um, you know, I'm guessing that you, you know now that uh, that's some history that I'm quite interested in. Also, they have a little area called Chinatown, and that's that's great. There's a shop there, and it sells everything. You know, like we have them in the UK, but it sells absolutely everything. And like I noticed, they have hair dye in there, and I always think, well, if I forget to if I forget to pack my hair dye, or when I'm travelling full time and I can't take my hair dye, at least I know I can get it there. And there is another area at St John's called Heritage Keys, and that's where the uh, cruise ships come in. I don't particularly like that area because to me it's like it looks like an outlet vi village you know how we get uh, Vista Village and Swindon so it's got all your designer shops there and it's really aimed for people getting off the cruise ship and it looks all very pink and how I'd say fake Caribbean so I, don't, if, I mean if you're on a cruise ship Come out of the keys, it's perfectly safe. And uh, go and have a look around the town. It's, it, it's, a, it's a lovely town. And I went to a restaurant there, Cuties, that's on Redcliffe Key. I tell you, this meal was huge. It was super spicy as well, and it was really good. And here it is, uh, Redcliffe Keys. They've got some nice, cute little shops. Anyway, so St. John's is definitely one to do while you're here. Okay, so I've arrived at the next station. We are at Half Moon Bay. Let me just give you a quick look. We'll go and have a proper explore later. But first things first, I need to go to the little shop because I'm hoping they've got the t-shirts in because I want to get one for my brother. This is his favourite place. Beach Bums. Look at this. Best restaurant on the island after Trappers. Uh, I think they're equally as good actually. But it's a fantastic little restaurant. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Just going to go in the shop. So yes, I've got my brother's T-shirt from his favourite bar. Don't tell him. It's a surprise for him. So I've arrived at Half Moon Bay. Yes, I put my hat on. It's really hot, and I do not want sunstroke. Now there's beach massive and all the way to the right is like the resort there's a resort on the end forgotten what it's called and then they do hire beach chairs and umbrellas if you want them in the middle bit but as you can see the sea is quite rough here but if you go to the left where nobody else goes you get some peace and quiet and it's not as rough so you can swim it has some good snorkeling there too but you do need to walk all the way to the end it's about a kilometer but it's worth it and by the at right the end you might see the rocks that's a really good fishing spot now you will see there's a lot of seaweed here this wasn't here a few weeks ago it's just sort of come in in the last couple of weeks now 
because nobody comes at this end they don't really clean it they tend to clean it on the side where everybody goes but that's not going to deter me we're gonna go further up and even though it is wavy very wavy it's still beautiful it's quite spectacular I'd say this is one of my well this is one of my favorite beaches for sure and I do like the fact that you have the dramatic waves here and I love the sound but if you're willing to walk to the other end you can get the calmness and gosh it's so blue and there'll be nobody up here so I haven't made it all the way to the end yet because the sand is burning my feet so um, I've just stopped here for a minute but have a look because I've got this whole section well, mile to myself I can see two people right down there but otherwise I'm on my own it's beautiful Oh, well that was a drama. I just got my drone stuck in that big palm tree behind me and it's taken me a while because that palm tree is so tall. The stick I had was still wasn't long enough. Anyway, so I threw some stuff up eventually fell down into the grass. But by the time I got it, the battery was overheating. So i um, not sure if I got any decent drone shots from here at Half Moon Bay. But hopefully by the time we get to another beach we'll be working again. Um, so anyway let's uh, let's move on. I've wasted enough time here now. Uh, let's move on to the next place. Let's go. So that's the east coast done. We've been to see Devil's Bridge, Betty's Hope and Half Moon Bay. And that's uh, that's the main site on that site. I mean, it's a pretty epic place to go. Definitely worth it if you have a car. So I'm going to now have a little rest because I'm tired and um, I need to have a cup of tea. And then we will get going and make part two of the video. And part two will be English Harbour. So all the things that you can do at this end of the island. So here you have Nelson's Dockyard, Shirley's Heights, which are very popular sites to go to. So we'll get all of that covered 